Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Biscuit. So as you saw by the title, today we are going to Cosmoprof. And um, in order to get into Cosmoprof, you actually have to be a licensed nail tech cosmetologist to be able to purchase from this store. So I actually have never like really went in this store in depth to actually see all of their items. But um, I saw a few things in there that i would purchase but the price is just not pricing for me so the price is high so for this pack was 6.99 so seven dollars for that pack of uh, files like everything in here was definitely on the uh, higher end of course and if you don't know where to get your products from then of course i do and can see you as a licensed um cosmetologist or nail tech to shop here but um in the city of chicago we do have plenty and i mean plenty of nail supply stores so it was definitely interesting to go in here and to see the small section of nail items that they had and baby when i saw the price on that 100 percent acetone i was like yeah i'm in the wrong i'm in the wrong store and then i saw these um obviously pedicure sandals and i'm like i could get way more on amazon so um it was kind of hard for me to even pick up something and actually make a purchase out of here i thought that i would at least purchase something um but i i felt the um, prices were too high for, for me and i don't think mm, let me not say that i can't speak for everybody but at least for me i don't think that i would spend my money in here unless it came down to the wire or if it's something that i needed to get for a client and i did not have then of course i would have no other choice um so you see me walking back here to their small care or sky area and i thought they would at least have like maybe some nail lamps or something inside of here but they didn't because I was thinking of getting a nail lamp and a drill and a, um, what you call it, dust collector. The dust collector for sure. But um, it was really small. Like, they didn't have much of anything in here. And I mean, it was nice to have the Kiara Sky stuff on hand. But it's not like the full line where they carry everything. So it's only a few things like the gel nail art. They have a few acrylic powders, which actually turned out to be $15.99. Um, but you know, you can get them from vbs.com uh, for $12. So, you know, I had to kind of just like, mm, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything out of here, but it's definitely nice to have something at your um, disposal or um, close to you if any emergency. <laughs> Them prices in there, they said a gallon, a gallon of 100% acetone was $35.45. No, $49. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're on to our next destination, um, which I know will be better. And did y'all see the small section of nails? Even as a licensed, um, as a licensed, co um, I was gonna say cosmetologist, <laughs> as a licensed nail tech. I wouldn't be shopping out there. I don't even know how they in business. But okay. Well, we're on time now.
Um, can I see that uh moon lamp light up to see how bright it is? Is that possible? Yeah. Or do you have? have... I should have one open. Maybe. Okay. So there's like two buttons. You can adjust like whether or not you want it to be yellow, like this. Okay. Right. So this is to adjust it. And this is uh, to adjust like how dim it is. Okay. And if you want it to be white, it's gonna be white like this. Put it to the max. And this could be the maximum one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything that I got. I got this gallon of the isopropyl alcohol, because when I do poly gel nails, and also when I clean up, um, then I also get the acetone. So as you know, in um, Cosmoprof, this was $32.45 or $49, one of the two, and then this was $12. So $12 for the alcohol, $12 for the acetone. Then I ended up getting some latex gloves because I had ended up getting the vinyl ones the last time and I don't like the vinyl ones. So I actually am going to swap those out. Um, I got this cute little cleanup brush. I should have got two if I was really thinking. Um, hold on, let me, here we go. But this was cute and it was $8. So I typically use these for poly gel, but probably should have got two. In my right mind, I should have got two, but that was cute. And then I saw this little cute brush stand holder, which I believe I saw this on Shein, but I was like $5, mm, I could pay for it. So this is like a little brush holder. So I thought this was nice. So can't wait to use that. Um, then I saw some new D and D stuff. So D and D uh, soft gel tip primer, but you could also use this on your natural nails. Obviously, when you're priming your nails. So um, I saw this. I believe you could use it on your natural nails. I'm gonna do a little bit of research, but I believe you can. Then I saw the tip glue. So I was thinking maybe this is like the. Um, born pretty glue that i use for when i do my full cover tips so i got that and then of course i saw some blooming gel from dnd and y'all know i've been rocking with dnd for a long time so i had to pick that up and the last item that i purchased was this clear glass um container i'm gonna put my clear acrylic powder in here from young nails um just to get it out of the containers so, cause I buy the big jug, um, the 660 gram uh, acrylic powder from Young Nails. And then they gave me some free items, uh, two pedicure kits, and he gave me uh, 8080 nail file, which, you know, I love my 8080s, that's all I use. And then he gave me another um, 8080 file. And then of course my two disposable pedicure kits. Cause you all know I do pedicures. So in total, I spent um, $72, which is nothing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 
Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and your girl will catch you in the next one. Bye y'all.